Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you more. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So in the last video we took out the Grapple Guardian and regained ourselves the Grapple Beam, which is nice. And as we made our way out of the Hydro Dynamo area, we discovered an elevator that led us back here to the Aegon Waste. Which is rather convenient, since there is a couple things that we can do here, now that we have a few more abilities up our sleeves. So let's go ahead and get to it then. Yeah, it has been a long time since we've gone through this area. We've come, come quite a ways. And yeah, it also has been a long time since I've recorded the episode when we first came through here. Which, I know, I'm very aware of my uploading. But I have been rectifying that, thanks to all the scheduled uploads and everything. Which is pretty nice, I do say I have to like that. What about you, Spacefart? You like that? Well, no, I think he'd prefer to be alive, but who gives a shit what he thinks? Alright, so now that they're taken care of, we'll head up this way and avoid this Briggsy here. Yeah, I ended up getting his name wrong in the, uh, one of the previous episodes. But it's like, come on, let's be real. A lot of these enemies have very similar sounding names, and I'm never going to remember them to begin with. It's like, how many years have I played Super Metroid and I can't remember... Like, half the enemies' names in that. It's like, the bosses, of course, but... Me, uh, the regular enemies, it's like, yeah, I can't really think of all of them. Okay, once we're out here, we actually want to take this Morph Ball passage here, and head over to the left, and we can open up this Dark Beam doorway. Yeah, let's lead us into here, which is a big-ass Morph Ball room. Yeah, we want to take out this guy first off. There we go. And there is an item that we want to grab in here as well. And it's going to be up this way. So let's go ahead and bomb jump on up. And yeah, we got a lot of crumble blocks in here. So just keep holding left as you boost through. Now once you get up to this area though, you don't want to go too fast. You can see there on the rock face on the left, you got a bunch of holes gouged uh, in the surface there. Well, that's actually indicating that there's a tunnel there. And we don't want to roll too far once we get there. So I'll show you what I mean. So we want to come down this way, and then roll and then stop once we're in here. Because if you go too far left, you're going to end up hitting that crumble block there, fall down, and have to do this shit all over again. So yeah, that's not a lot of fun. But if you do that and come up this way, hey, check it out. You get ourselves an energy tank. That is very nice. That puts us up to six now. So we are getting quite beefy. Alright, let's go ahead and switch back to our regular beam now. And we can use that to save a missile as well. There we are. Just open up that secret doorway. And I'll bring us out here, which... Yeah, look at that machine. That's rather cool looking. Yeah, if we come over here, we got this pillar over here we can scan. And I'll activate that uh, kinetic orb cannon. Yeah, we don't have to do anything with that just yet, because all that does is just take us back up there to that ledge. Now I'll keep my scan visor out, because there is a couple things that we can scan out this way. First off being this guy, a Crawley, or Crawley, or however the hell you say his name. Yeah, I can swear we scanned something like this earlier in the game, but I might be thinking of those stupid Lumites. Yeah, these guys just go in and out of uh, dimensional flux, which as you can see, yeah, he just disappears like that. So you just want to wait till they pop up, and then just quickly take them out with one single hit. Alright, there you are. Okay, there we go. And you can see we got ourselves a bomb slot over here. Once we use that, it's going to activate this big-ass blade here in the middle of the room. Yeah, it looks like a giant lawnmower blade. Like, holy shit. Yeah, we don't want to do anything with that just yet, because we want to make sure we come over here and activate this pillar to get another kinetic orb cannon going. Yeah, there we go. Now, once that's activated, we can come out here to this bomb slot and then activate it with a bomb. Alright, now that we've done that, we got a timer going, so we have to hurry up through here. Take this orb cannon up top, and then activate this bomb slot. 
Yeah, there we go. That opened up a portal to the Dark World, which is very neat. Alright, before we get jumping on down, though, we got this over here that we can scan. We got ourselves a new lore. This is New Weapons, which in the original game was Stellar Object. Let's go ahead and give it a read. Our studies of the Ing reveal the, the source of their attacks as dark energy. We built weapons to use this energy, thinking it could overload enemy targets and eliminate them. We soon learned our error, as the Dark Beam was not of great effect on the Ing. We then began to develop a weapon that used light energy. This weapon would dispatch the Ing with terrible efficiency. I don't know, it seems like terrible is the wrong descriptor to use there, because it makes it sound like it was bad. It's like, I don't know, it could be just me. It's like, why did you use the word terrible? It's like, you don't like the Ing. You can say, yeah, it smoked their asses. But eh, I guess that's out of the Luminoth terminology. Alright, let's go ahead and take this Morphall Passage, because that'll drop us onto this blade here. Now, what's funny is, when this thing is spinning, you think this would cause massive damage when you jump into it, which you can do. No, it just takes a little bit of energy off, which is hilarious. Oh, we got something up there on that ledge that we can't get to. We'll be getting it soon enough, though. Alright, until then, Dark World time! There we go. Yeah, for some reason, I couldn't walk into the portal right away. <laughs> it's like something was stopping me. I was like, what the fuck? I was like running into an invisible barrier. It's like, oh, Prime. You still got some glitches here and there. Alright, so we want to head into this room where those night barbs flew out of. And we can just go up top here. Let's make sure we're activating these beacons as we go. Yeah, we can't go that way. The Ing have got it blocked off. So instead, we'll jump across over to this ledge and gain access to this doorway. Yeah, we got another morph ball tunnel hiding out back here. Just roll through that room rather quickly. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, the camera really freaks out uh, in that morph ball tunnel and going into this room. It's like it's always disorienting to me. Alright, now once we come out here, got ourselves another portal. Let's go ahead and activate it. Alright, and there we are. And yeah, you may recognize this area when we first came through here. I pointed out that there was a this strange looking thing behind this gate. Yeah, now we're on the other side of it. Which is rather neat. And yeah, that was also a one-way portal. So we have to head this way. Alright, go ahead and boost through that block that was there. And once we come out this way... Ooh, look at this. What do we got here? Alright, check it out, we got ourselves the Dark Burst. Yeah, like in the original Prime game, when all the different beams had a powerful attack that used missiles, well, this is the equivalent in this game, for the Dark Beam. This attack, eh, I don't really use that often. But it does create, like, a big black hole in the room. you think it would suck things in, but it doesn't, it just sort of lingers there. Alright, let's go ahead and take out these guys. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be here so you can test out that new Dark Burst, but it's really fucking hard to hit them with it. Since it's slow as shit. Okay, so we're actually done here in this little mining area. So let's take this Kinetic Orb Cannon back up to this ledge and we'll get on out of here. Alright. Yeah, it's a lot quicker to roll through here now. There we go. Oh, shit, yeah, don't fall down that crumble block. That kind of sucks. Alright, back through this door we go. 
And yeah, we're just going to be heading back towards that room with the two pirates. But we want to take another doorway to get on out of there. Yeah, that time I boost through them. <laughs> yeah, if you boot, burst through, uh, or boost through enemies, uh, you won't take any damage from it. Sometimes, I should say. Alright, Space Pirate. How about you fucking die? Yeah, a lot of Space Pirate genocide going on in this one. Like, we have to make up for all the non-pirates we've been killing. Like we gotta see uh, Samus's bloodlust there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these orb cannons to the other side of the room. There we go. And we're gonna head out towards this big portal area that we came across a long time ago, and head over to the right. Now we're gonna make a little bit of a detour here because instead of taking this uh, half pipe to go back towards that elevator to the Torvis Bog. We're actually going to go on the other side. Alright, get this lined up. Yeah, we're going to make it up there to that top ledge. Yep, oh, almost there. Come on. Oh, there we go. And now let's go ahead and activate this portal. And hey, check it out! For coming up here, we get ourselves another missile expansion. That's very nice. Puts us up to 85 now. Okay, so now we'll just head back over to the left. And back out to the big portal room. Yeah, just a short little stint in the dark world here. Alright, I hear dark pirates. How about we activate this thing? Come on! You know you want to. <laughs> Fucking idiots, man. <laughs> you can always rely on the space pirates for being that. Alright, back into the light world. Alright, and here we are. Let's go ahead and take out these war wasps nests real fast. There we go. You don't need to do that since we're just gonna rush on through here, but fuck wasps, man. I don't want to hear that buzzing sound. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the other side here. Uh, oh god. Okay, lining yourself up on some of these a half pipes does fucking suck. Oh god. <laughs> it doesn't take much to just launch you right out of it. Okay, there we go. It's like, god damn, that's more trouble than it needs to be. Okay, so back down into the Torvus Bog we go. Alright, and here we are once more. So now that we're back on track, done with our little detour, you might have remembered us in the last video, picking up the second of three keys for the Dark Temple. Well, we're going to be making our way towards that third one now. So let's go ahead and get moving then. Just head back out this way. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, sometimes when you come out here, these guys will show up and make your day shitty. So there we go. Oh, god damn. Alright, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alright, I 
think he's up there. Alright, it got him frozen. I'm just missile his ass now. <laughs> like, thanks for that, I can hardly see through that static and shit. Yeah, I don't know what triggers them showing up, because sometimes when I come through here they, they don't show up at all. I guess it's just a random chance thing. But now that they're dead, let's go ahead and open up this emerald hologram doorway that's been here for a long time. And we'll see what we got behind it. Ooh, check it out. We have finally downloaded the map for this area. <laughs> now that we've explored most of it by ourselves. Yeah, you do get these maps rather late in the game. But yeah, you can see there's still a couple areas that we haven't seen. Yeah, like way down there. And this area, for example. Yeah, we will get to them eventually. But yeah, let's go ahead and head back out this way. And then we'll just come back up here to make traveling over here much easier. There we go. Yeah, I don't think you can reach it from down below, to be honest. I think that's the only way you can get over here. Okay, so once we come into this room and we touch the water, if we look up, yeah, we can see that missile expansion that's been there. But also, we got ourselves a grapple spot there we can use to get up here on the ledge. Yeah, there we go. Get another five missiles for our arsenal. Puts us up to 90. Yeah, this room's a little bit awkward using the grapple beam in. Just because you seem to hit the walls a lot and just slide along them. Okay. There we go. Then we'll just jump up here. Okay, now once we're out here, we want to head over to the left and go through that portal. Let's get out the dark beam and do that. All right, and here we are back in the dark world. Let's go ahead and jump over here now. We'll go through this super missile doorway. I like how the super missiles can activate the, the those beacons as well. It's kind of hilarious. And ooh, check this out. Got ourselves another new scan. This is a lift vine crystal. It's basically just a viney version of the lift uh, elevators that we came across. Alright, so we just want to get out the light beam and activate that thing. Ouch. <laughs> Fucking dark preeds. Alright. Just get your ass on through there. Yeah, once we come out here, let's go ahead and open that missile doorway way over there. There we go. And hey, look what we got hanging out in that ledge. Go ahead and take this morph ball tunnel then. Get ourselves lined up with that. There we go. We'll swing our way on across. And we'll go ahead and nab it. This is the third and final dark temple key. And yep, with that, we have all the dark Torvis temple keys, and we can make our way to the temple of this area. Very nice. Before we do that, we got a fucking hunter ing to deal with. Alright, stop it. Looks like you're pissing me off. There he goes. Yeah, I really hate fighting those things. <laughs> it's like I can't tell if I'm hitting them until they explode like that. Okay, so we want to take this pathway. Because there's a couple things that we can grab over here. So yeah, before we go through that doorway, let's go ahead and unmorph and look up here. Now uh, these lights indicate uh, some ledges that we can jump on. Let's go ahead and do that. 
and roll on down here. It's preferably not into the nasty bog there. And we can access this portal. And hey, look at that! Well, hello there, beautiful. You've been teasing me for far too long. Let's go ahead and grab you. Yeah, look at that. That's three missile expansions. We're up to 95 right now. So we're looking pretty beefy. Okay, there's nothing else that we can actually do in this little room. So let's head back to the dark room. Alright, so now, we can just take this little morph ball elevator up top. There we go. Yeah, I like how you can just barely touch the field there to keep your energy from going down. So that's not going to be too important here soon enough. So again, we got a save point coming up and also something else. Okay, before we jump over there, let's go ahead and activate that with a light beam shot. Because we got ourselves a hunter ing here. It's like, come on. Why don't we just fly over here? Ah, fucking asshole. Yeah, those hunter ing are a little bit smart sometimes. They won't, uh, come into the light beam. It's like, they know what's going on. They seem like they get a little bit smarter as they go. So once we open up that seeker doorway. Ooh, look what we have in here. We have a very important beam e ammo expansion. So yeah, we're up by another 50. So we got 150 for each of our dark and light beams. It's like, that's very useful. Okay, so back out we go. You can see there's a yellow door doorway over there we can't do anything with. But we will be coming back here later on. Okay, so now we'll just roll on through here. There we go. And back out this way. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of this hunter ing real quick. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's way up there. Alright. With him taken out, let's go ahead and head over to this doorway that we opened up with a missile a little bit ago. Because check this out. We got ourselves a save point. Let's go ahead and save our game here. Just like that. So what awaits us once we head towards the dark temple of this area? Well, we're going to have to find out in the next video, so stay tuned for more. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes.